guys, it's LeGrandzilla, and uh, as you saw from the pictures, I had this diorama that uh, had Batra on it, and it was quite a longer diorama, and one of my good friends uh, really wanted that Batra. He wanted a uh, uh, that Kyoto Batra I had, and uh, couldn't find one anywhere else. And he probably would have done a better job if he would have just uh, had one and painted it himself uh, rather than taking mine. But uh, I owed him, and so uh, I went ahead and uh, uh, took this diorama apart, and I cut it down, as you could see from the pictures. Uh, and uh, I re uh, redid this uh, front here so that it uh, had a good stopping point and I moved the boat that was on it closer and there were a lot of problems with the diorama that before I didn't like how it was rectangular and so now it's a little bit more organic looking it still has these corners but there's a piece of oak under here so it's really kind of hard to deal with otherwise also it had developed cracks uh, all the way around it so I fixed all that and uh, repainted it and uh, so now I think it's a better diorama It's still pretty heavy uh, but it's uh, a lot easier to manage and carry around uh, Godzilla comes off still uh, the rest of it I think I've uh, fixed it nicely I've repainted the surfaces of the uh, rock here and uh, when I did the water I put in some tide pools and different things that I think uh, make it look a little better. As you can see, I put the uh, guy that went fell in the water back in uh, along with his uh, uh, life preserver. Uh, there's a guy that dove into the water over here too that I went ahead and uh, if we can see him there his legs coming out of the water uh, but I uh, I put all that back on and we're left it uh, the rest of the things uh, still got the guy jumping here uh, who's in a similar position as Godzilla is and uh, I want to talk a little bit about Godzilla this is the Kyoto uh, 92 Godzilla 30 centimeter uh, I did some things to this sculpt to uh, make it a little less static. I felt that, you know, his, his feet were just side by side, uh, his arms were about in the same position. Uh, so, and his head was uh, looking down a little bit more. I, I wanted to change it, so I changed the neck so that I could have his head go up a little bit. I changed the position of this arm, and I made this hip so it goes... Um, uh, it goes up a little bit, like he's got one leg higher than the other. And uh, so I had to re-sculpt a lot of parts uh, in the hip, uh, in the in the side of the body, uh, to make it so that uh, it would uh, still have texture and all that. It's kind of hard to, uh, to do a uh, vinyl kit and uh, do a lot of uh, re positioning and re-sculpting, but uh, move the arm up, like I said. And so I wanted to make it look like he's lunging a little bit. And uh, at the time, uh, my idea was to have uh, him lunging at Batra. Well, we can imagine that Batra is still there if we want. I would have maybe possibly got a, uh, uh, if Kyoto or if there was a 30 centimeter version of uh, um of Mothra that would be uh, uh, in scale with this diorama uh, and that was also a uh, 92 Mothra there isn't one like that and so I thought best to just uh, take it off entirely and I did have a uh, Batra that was the uh, the larva form but I didn't really think it would work so well for this. I would have had to put him in the water. So I just decided to do it this way and one of the win-wins here is that I'm saving a lot of shelf space. 
it takes up a lot less shelf space and I have a place for it which I'll show you at the end of the video where I ended up putting it which is perfect for it because it's a tall area but it's uh, just the right size for this so I'm really happy with uh, the changes I made on this and uh, I'm hoping my friend uh, Jason who should have received uh, uh, it in the mail he got it safely and uh, and that uh, he's able to use it. Uh, so anyway, I hope you found this uh, video interesting. Uh, Beans that um, it's quite a change from uh, what I had before. Uh, I'm happy with how the how the water came out and uh, kind of redid the water it was one of the main things. Uh, recolored it all. I like the colors I came up with. And uh, the whole deal, I think it's a, it's a nice diorama now and a good way to display a, a modified Kyoto uh, Godzilla kit. All right, well, thanks for looking and uh, see you next time uh, when uh, I'll probably post another video on uh, the next model I build. What will it be?